Hey guys, it's Romina, math person. So I'll be going over question 226 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as soon as you're attempted it, let's just dive right in. At a polling booth, a ballots are casted by 10 voters, of whom three are Republicans, two are Democrats, and five are Independents. A local journalist interviews two of these voters, two of these voters, Calculate the expectation of the absolute value of the difference between the number of Republicans interviewed and the number of Democrats interviewed. So, yeah, that's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? So, but essentially, the idea is that we're trying to find the expectation, right, of the absolute value of the difference between number of Republicans interviewed and number of Democrats interviewed. Wait, I think I just said the same thing twice. But anyways, so then the possible X values, right, we're interviewing two of them. So the possible ex expectation, what it could be, is it could be zero, right? Or it could be one, or it could be two, right? All right, right. But then, like for us, zero doesn't really matter because you know we all know that zero just has carry no carries no weight when we're trying to find expectation, because again, it's zero times anything is just zero. So I'm not gonna even worry about this. But then I'm gonna go on to one. So when can the difference between the number of Republicans and the number of Democrats be one? So I, I thought about this. I thought about it like this way. So if I have two Democrats and a independent person, that's going to be equal to two, right? The difference between that, the, the difference between Republicans and Democrats are just two. And I just thought about like all the possible choices I could have. Like if I have two Republicans and an independent, oh, two Republicans, the difference between a Republican and Democrats are just two right and how if it's like one democrat and one republican well that's when it's equal to zero but then we don't we say we don't, we're not worrying about that and then i thought about like what if it's like one republican and one democrat uh, one republican and one independent so then that's when finally the difference is just one and i can say the same for when it's one democrat and one independent then the difference right there is one so i think this is like considers most of the different choices I mean, obviously it could be independent and independent, but then that's just going to be equal to um, zero. So we're not going to worry about that one either. So those are my choices. So when it, when does it yield one? When there's one Republican and one independent. So that's how many Republicans we have? Three. So out of three Republicans, we're choosing one. And, oh, baby. Or when there's, out of five um, independents, we're picking one. That's when the difference is equal to one. All right, so what's the probability when it's one Democrat and one independent we can just do the same thing right one democrat there's out of two we're choosing one and out of five independents we're choosing one as well right because that's again that's as we show, showed right here is going to be the difference is going to be one and like honestly you can think of it like one independent minus one republican but again they're talking about the absolute value so the order really doesn't matter to us so that works and we're adding these two together because these are two independent events so when can it be equal to two? Hey, we talked about this one. They're both de Democrats, so that's equal to one. Out of two Democrats, we're picking two. Or when there is two Republicans. So out of three Republicans, we're picking two. All right, right. So then this is what we're looking for. So then this right here. And then our total probability, our total probability is we have five different people. And out of that five, we're choosing two. Oh, wait, wait, I mean, ten. And out of that ten, we're choosing two. So this is equal to 45. So then right here, what, I'm just going to solve it out for you real quick. So 3 choose 1 is just 3. 5 choose 1 is just 5. And the total probability is 45. Plus 2 choose 1 is 2 times 5 choose 1 is 5 over 45. So this right here is equal to 15 plus 10, 25 over 45, right? And then right here, 2 choose 2 is just 1. So that's 1 over, 4, 1 over 45 plus 3 choose 2 is just 3. <laughs> 3 out of 45. So this is equal to 4 out of 45. And as always, in order to find our expectation, we just have to multiply the probability times our x. So that's going to be equal to 25 over 45 times 1 plus 4 over 45 times 2. All right. So this is equal to 25 over 45 plus... 8 over 45. Alright, so this is 33 over 45, which could be simplified down to. I could divide both sides by 3, right? Divide by 3, divide by 3. So this is 11 over 15, which is our answer D. 
if you guys have any questions or want to want me to do any questions first feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you guys like subscribe and share bye